Hey there, fellow car enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world under your car's hood. Buckle up as we take you on an exhilarating ride through the inner workings of a car engine. So, let's start with the basics. An internal combustion engine also known as ICE is what makes your car go vroom. It's like the heart of your ride, pumping power to the wheels. They are the most common type of engine and run on diesel or petrol. Combustion, the process by which petrol engines operate, is triggered by the spark plug when fuel and air are combined. Similar to gasoline engines, diesel engines employ air compression to raise the air temperature to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, which ignites the fuel. Spark plugs are not used in diesel engines. Also, in recent times engines such as hybrid and electric motors have also been introduced which are engines running on batteries and electric currents and also combinations of internal combustion engines and electric motors. Since internal combustion engines are so useful, you can also find them in boats, ships, aeroplanes, and trains in addition to cars. Because the fuel is ignited to perform work inside the engine, they are given that name. The identical mixture of gasoline and air is subsequently released as exhaust. A piston, sometimes referred to as a reciprocating engine, or a turbine can be used for this. Now, let's pop the hood and take a closer look. The pistons and cylinders. Inside the engine, we have cylinders and pistons. These are like the engines, pumping stations. When fuel and air mix in the cylinder, a spark plug ignites the mixture, creating a controlled explosion. This explosion pushes the piston down, turning the engine's crankshaft. Before we get into detail let's see the difference between a piston and cylinder. Now, although they do work together, they actually have different roles to fulfill a piston a component of the combustion chamber that moves is the piston. It is in charge of transforming the kinetic energy created by combustion into mechanical work. An essential component of the engine is a cylinder. It is a chamber where fuel is burned to produce electricity. A piston and inlet and exhaust valves are located at the top of the cylinder. Your vehicle is propelled by the reciprocating motion of the piston, which oscillates up and down. The piston in the cylinder goes up and down when the engine is running. The piston slows down as it approaches the turning point before abruptly resuming its acceleration. The piston is subjected to inertia forces as a result. This creates the piston force, which is transmitted to the connecting rod and crankshaft, when combined with the forces produced by the gas pressure. Only at the top and lower turning locations are the connecting rods perfectly vertical. The piston is forced up against the side of the cylinder wall by the connecting rod's tilt. As a result of the piston force and the angle between the piston crown and connecting rod axis, this force's magnitude and direction are continually changing during the combustion cycle. Piston rings are a feature of pistons. Regarding the crankcase, they seal the combustion and functioning chambers. They reduce the oil usage by removing oil from the cylinder walls as well. The cooled running surface of the cylinder liner receives the heat that the piston absorbs during combustion thanks to the piston ring. The combustion process is where the magic happens. Fuel from the gas tank mixes with air in just the right ratio within the cylinder. The spark plug then ignites this mixture, causing a rapid expansion of gases. This creates high pressure and temperature, forcing the piston downward. The complicated series of processes that make up the combustion process of an automobile engine are essential for transforming fuel into mechanical energy. A mixture of fuel and air enters the combustion chamber of the engine during the intake stroke. This combination is compressed during the compression stroke, increasing its temperature and pressure. In petrol engines, the mixture is then ignited by a spark plug, whereas in diesel engines, the high compression alone causes spontaneous ignition. When the mixture is ignited, it burns quickly, producing high pressure gases that force the piston downward during the power stroke. The burned gases are subsequently released through exhaust valves, and the cycle continues. Modern engines use cutting-edge technologies to streamline this procedure for effectiveness and lower emissions, guaranteeing optimal vehicle performance. The mixture is compressed inside the small cylinder when the piston starts to rise during the compression stroke. The pressure and temperature of the mixture are dramatically raised by this compression. The highly compressed air-fuel mixture is ignited by a carefully timed spark produced by the spark plug in gasoline engines. The controlled explosion is started by this ignition which also quickly raises the temperature and pressure inside the combustion chamber. Because spark plugs aren't used in diesel engines, ignition only happens through compression. Because of the extreme compression, the air inside the cylinder heats up to the point where it may ignite the diesel fuel that has been injected into the chamber. The power stroke begins when the engine is ignited. 
the piston is forced downward by the explosive gas expansion from the ignited mixture. The reciprocating action of the piston is changed into rotational motion, which powers the wheels of the vehicle by harnessing this linear motion of the piston to turn the engine's crankshaft. In essence, the combustion process in a car engine involves a delicate balance of chemistry, physics, and engineering innovation to transform fuel into the driving force that propels vehicles forward with efficiency and power. The crankshaft and connecting rods. Now, the force from the piston is transmitted to the crankshaft through connecting rods. This is what converts the up and down motion of the pistons into rotational motion, which ultimately powers your car's wheels. The crankshaft and connecting rods play a crucial role in the internal design of a car engine, converting the piston's linear motion into the rotating motion that turns the wheels of the car. The engine block's main component, the crankshaft, is a cylindrical shaft with several offset crankpins. By means of connecting rods, it is attached to the pistons. The connecting rods are forced to pivot around the crankpins by the up and down motion of the pistons in the cylinders during combustion. The piston's reciprocating action is converted into the rotational motion necessary to turn the wheels by this pivoting motion. The balance and smooth running of the engine depend heavily on the crankshaft's design. In order to balance the forces produced by the pistons and connecting rods and prevent vibrations, counterweights are strategically positioned throughout the crankshaft. The pistons and the crankshaft are attached to each end of the connecting rods. In order to transfer the force from the pistons to the crankshaft, the connecting rods are essential. They are made to maintain their structural integrity while withstanding significant tensile and stress forces. A piston pin, also known as a wrist pin, connects the connecting rod's lower end to the piston, and the crank pin holds the rod's upper end to the crankshaft. The pistons can rise and fall in a controlled manner because the connecting rod's motion and the crankshaft's rotation are coordinated. As a result of this movement being precisely timed to the engine's combustion cycle, the pistons press down on the connecting rods during the power stroke and smoothly return during the exhaust stroke. The design and material choice for connecting rods and crankshafts in high-performance engines, notably those in racing and sports cars, become crucial. These parts require sophisticated materials like forged steel or even lightweight materials like titanium since they must endure higher RPMs, revolutions per minute, and larger pressures. In summary, the crankshaft and connecting rods in a car engine work in tandem to convert the up and down motion of the pistons into the rotational motion needed to drive the vehicle. These components are engineered for strength, balance, and precision, playing a crucial role in the overall performance and reliability of the engine. The role of lubrication. All this movement and heat create friction, and that's where lubrication steps in. Engine oil is like the lifeblood of your engine, keeping all those moving parts running smoothly and preventing wear and tear. The smooth and dependable operation of a car engine depends on proper lubrication. By acting as a barrier between moving parts, engine oil lowers friction and wear. As the engine operates, parts like the crankshaft, camshaft, and pistons move quickly, producing heat and friction. These parts are coated with engine oil, which is frequently pumped via channels, creating a thin layer that reduces direct contact. By doing so, excessive wear is reduced, component life is extended, and effective performance is maintained. In addition, oil absorbs heat and releases it, keeping things from overheating. The oil filter purifies the oil by removing impurities that can harm the engine. To replace oil that degrades or gets unclean over time, regular oil changes are necessary. In the end, good lubrication makes sure the engine operates quietly, effectively, and smoothly, increasing its longevity and ensuring ideal performance. The cooling system engines can get hot, really hot. That's why there's a cooling system. A mixture of water and coolant flows through channels around the engine, absorbing heat. The radiator then cools down this mixture before it circulates again. In order to maintain ideal operating temperatures and avoid overheating, a car engine's cooling system is essential. The cooling system assists in dissipating the significant heat that engine components produce during operation so that the engine may run at a safe temperature. The radiator, which has a web of tubes and fins, is the main part of the cooling system. Through these tubes, coolant, a solution of water and antifreeze, moves while absorbing heat from the engine. Air blowing over the radiator's fins cools the radiator as hot coolant flows through it. The coolant's temperature is lowered throughout this heat exchange procedure before returning to the engine. The cooling system needs to be maintained frequently. Coolant can deteriorate or become contaminated over time, 
which could cause corrosion or overheating. To maintain the cooling system functioning at its best, it's crucial to flush and replace the coolant as directed. Of conclusion, controlling and regulating engine temperatures is the responsibility of the cooling system of an automobile engine. It keeps the engine from overheating, assures correct engine operation, and extends the life of the vehicle's powertrain as a whole by effectively dissipating extra heat. The exhaust system. After the combustion process, what's left? Exhaust gases. These are expelled through the exhaust manifold, into the catalytic converter, and finally out through the tailpipe. The catalytic converter also reduces harmful emissions. The car's exhaust system manages emissions and noise while enhancing engine efficiency. Exhaust gases generated during combustion are channeled from the engine through exhaust manifolds, which collect and direct them to the catalytic converter. Here, harmful pollutants are converted into less harmful substances. The gases then pass through the muffler, which reduces noise, before being released through the tailpipe. This system ensures emissions compliance, minimizes environmental impact, and provides a quieter driving experience. Regular maintenance is vital to prevent corrosion and maintain efficient exhaust flow. And there you have it, folks. The intricate symphony of parts that power your ride. The car engine is a marvel of engineering, blending chemistry, physics, and mechanics to create the incredible driving experience we all love. If you enjoyed this journey under the hood, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, keep those engines running and the roads rolling. Until next time.